I'm back chat. He can still get another drink, but we're gonna hop right back into it. I love the B reverse dragon fang shot from driver there. The back here gonna catch Nito on the way down, and that's game number one going to driver. Orin. mishap with the controls for someone? No, we're not coming back. I thought we were. Oh, it's the Ken switch. Okay. So we're going straight back into it, but it's going to be a swap from Batman here onto the Ken. I feel like we're going to see a lot slower of a match. I'm almost would rather see the Ryu Ken against Bourne, maybe. We'll see how Nito does. Also, shout out to Asuma winning a Super Major with Ryu. Crazy. That character's good. Point strap sucks though. You see that? It went straight through the shield. Ken is slightly faster. I like that they were like, yeah, Ken is an echo fighter, but also he has different stats and moves. It's like, oh, oh, so not an echo fighter? But, I don't know. It feels weird that that was the character, that was where they decided to draw the line of echo fighter. was like, Ken is, but like, Villager Isabel aren't. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. 
like Daisy Peach or like Rick or the Belmonts. It's like, oh, those are the same characters. That makes sense that they're an Echo. Love the F smash there. Catches the spot dodge from Batman. We're gonna get one suck a piece. Yeah, like I feel like Ryu and Ken are the most different Echo fighters, and they've like you got Crom Warrior a little bit different in terms of their playstyle at least. Uh, and they have a couple of different moves. Villager and Isabel feel like they should be if Comet or if Ken and Ryu are. I don't know. So up tilt waits out the focus, not all the way. The back is gonna be the spacing tool the driver needs, not for very long, runs right into the down tilt, sure you. Oh, I love the pin. Martha Lucina, I get, where they're like, oh, they're the exact same moves, but different properties. That makes sense for an echo. Krom and Roy at least have different up -bees. But like similar vein, I guess. Ken and Ryu are different characters entirely. I wonder if it was like some arbitrary coding thing. Like, oh yeah, we because we we use the inputs for the true sure you can inputs and things like that. Oh, phew. next frame he was gone. Down here connected, goodbye. One one the ten seems to have worked out, at least here on Hall of Bastion. I wonder if we're gonna see a stage change. Yeah, everyone thinks jumping from ledge is gonna be good and kill ten until Ken's got a down air right there already. And we're actually running it back to Hollow Bastion. I feel like I liked this stage a lot more for Ken than Corin here, but we'll see if there's an adaptation here from Jiver. Some BMBs here with the fair fair up here. 96 easy juggle percent here. The back here gonna outspace the focus attack and it gets the pin spacing perfect as well to take the stock. Only 12% here on driver. He's looking solid. That down tilt being negative on hit at zero feels really bad. That was like I still have muscle memory of Smash 4 getting down tilt up to at zero. And now you just get hit for that. It doesn't feel good. Oh, the back air from Driver catching the jump in from Nito. Jeez. Three socks to one here on game number three. What is going on? I looked away for a second and all of a sudden, Corn Supremacy. So, Corn, uh, Driver actually took game one pretty solidly over the Kazuya, forced Nito onto the Ken. The Ken did solid on game two, it was last stock, Wait but a minute. I up be that. I'm, no, no, I did ask like, yeah, no. You know he does that double jump and you're below him, he's gonna focus, you just up be through it, break it. Yeah. My driver's also a lot better than me, so I don't know. I am loving these mixes. It just feels like driver. I've always held the opinion good coin is one of the prettiest characters to watch. Um, there is an elegance that comes to like the landing traps that Corrin has. Yeah. The uh, frame trap that she puts you in. It's just, it's just It feels fine. bad to get hit with. Honestly, it feels like you are getting out of You pinned that? What? That's crazy. I, I was I was like, oh, that's good timing for the tipper. He got it. And then he got stuck. He's different. This is really Driver. Yeah. Do you know who Driver is? He's a PR in San Diego. In San Diego? Yeah. 
I, I, really, I feel like it's really difficult to play against a good corn player because they have to be neutrally sound to put you in the frame traps and uh, and the juggling situations you end up in. If you don't play a character that can get in on corn, it's a it's genius. The switch to Ryu actually might be a little bit I was better. actually saying, going into game two when he picked Ken, I would actually think I'd rather see the Ryu mm -hmm. to slow the pace down. I think Coin, as good of a character as they are, I think I think they struggle with opening you up if you play a solid defense a lot of the time. They go for a lot of similarly timed landing aerials. That was a weird way of falling out of the shock loop. But I think a lot of the time they're like looking for falling aerials, they're looking to jump in on you at like similar timings. Where if you can play the slow game and like shield it, throw out fireballs, things like that, I think the pace where you want to play out is going to be a little bit better. Probably agreeable. I, I like the fact that that, uh, that Batman feels the need to even change in the first place, right? That's, uh, I respect it. I almost got the fully charged focus down there. I actually kind of feel like him being willing to switch is good just in terms of showing the motivation that he actually wants to win instead yeah. of just being like, oh, well, whatever. If I lose with Kazuya, it is what it is. Absolutely. It's also a momentum switch, you know, yeah. tempo mix. As you said, obviously Ryu, a little bit of, of a heavier hitter, is going to uh, force the approach with Lively Shakun and I mean, clearly just a better character. He won a super major. That was fire. I mean, I hate fighting Ken, but like, I kind of like Ashimo doing well. Once again, getting the pin. Hey, yo, no, he actually might have young ass man like reaction speed. That was on purpose. Cause he's getting the full pin. He's not even the tipper. That's nuts. That's crazy. Ooh, the turnaround. Oh, and starting to starting to bait uh, Ryu out motion wise. Jumps right into the Tatsu. That's a little bit unfortunate. I like that. He runs up, baits the spot dodge, and then jumps backwards with the forward air. I am so impressed by this uh, this, this very nice foreign play. Oh, the jump in there, not gonna find it. It is even, even stocks, and you're at 60 against Ryu. I was about to say, you're close to dying. You gotta be careful. Yeah, it did uh, kind of stale that out for, for later on. Good tech. Oh, does that the oh, no shield break, but uh, shield pressure. Oreos, we're having some tech issues with one of our cameras today. It keeps overheating, so that's why the camera's like randomly turning on and off for driver. Ooh, we're starting to see some of this uh, this defensive play from Nino really come in handy. Oh, there's the full talk or the full focus. That doesn't kill actually. Yeah, I mean, if you do the re standard like forward kick there, you die. A good parry on the on the back air. See, and this is where I feel like Corn starts to have a hard time is chasing you down when you're in yeah, that deficit. You're, you're well within her active range. Really yeah. forcing her to make yeah. objects yeah. and really scaring her in terms of the amount of pressure that she put on with her down tilts, approaching jab, um, and now you're starting to see the game plan that Corn had start to fall apart. Yeah, she wants you to jump in on her. Absolutely. She wants you to do something on her shield so she can like pin or nair out a shield, get a combo start that way. Do an unsafe, like do a bad spot dodge or something, get forward aired or back, uh, landing up aired, back aired, something like that. I think also the Shaku, the timing Nito's throwing it at makes it difficult for like falling up air or back air to be much of a thing for driver. I know I can say any immediately does it. I'm wondering if uh, grounded uh, focus is gonna start getting punished by grab. I don't think so. Corn's grab is terrible. Like genuinely <laughs> terrible. Now you saw that he went for that grab. So I'm just I'm just saying not like he wants to. Oh, oh he waited it out. He actually so did just so low that Nito was like, oh, the move's not gonna reach it. He cancel it and dash in or out. But actually what's the like get the uh, back here? Yeah. Does get the pin, and I mean, such an early stock, that's such a boon for Corrin. That almost killed, Jesus. Yeah, and as you can see, yeah, trying Corrin's to punish a little so bit bad. more with grab. I, I do agree that it's not the best option. The dash grab is very committal, but I would like to see a little bit more of that in terms of- It's like, punish. not a bad idea if you're any other character, but that grab is so short. 
I'm just gonna complain about it all the time because maybe I, it's a space. I was gonna say maybe, uh, maybe skill issue. It's not. No. It's a shorter grab than most other characters have. Oh, oh, it's your pokes. You're not angling your shield for that needle. Come on now. Good. Jump out of the corner with the back air. All right, we're seeing the pin kick away. Ooh, good patience. Ooh, good roll from Nito gets behind the back air, gets a down tilt to punish. Not getting the same timing on these pins. I think Neil's doing a good job of throwing the fireballs out the hottos and mixing up the timing of when he's gonna be because they do stall you a little bit. I actually really like that. Yeah, what a call out. He's trying to we're trying to see if Nito would try to get out of the corner with an aggressive option. Jump. That that kick is actually super active, so even if they try and neutral get up behind it, it sometimes still catches them. I was gonna say, it should have still traded even if it was an actual, uh, an offensive option. Don't jump here. He does jump, but, well, space. Nito was looking corner. for the back here on the jump, he just didn't Ooh, and to. way to call it out. Unfortunately, does not find a follow up after that down tilt, but neither does Nito. Yeah, that was a great, great land It's there. just such an awkward spot when you commit your double jump there and you can't go anywhere else. It's like, oh, if I press a button, I'm just going to die. I have to try and like mix up the button. I think down air is low-key the play, though, because it has the multi-hit and the landing hitbox as opposed to near. But, like, uh -oh, it, once again, you're kind of just The, uh, ooh, uh, does not get the tech. Owen oh, waits out the focus attack. Fo uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that back air. That's it. Gonna be driver over three to two. Man. Three to two. Really well played. Kept the pressure on uh, Ryu and really was able to work around.